Wow, why am I red? <coughs> Excuse me, that's a way to start. <laughs> it's a way to start. Hey guys, I'm uh, actually on my way to the bowling alley. Uh, it's a uh, Thursday night. It's my bowling, bowling, bowling night. But anyway, let's get on here with a little quick cruise news and my thoughts and views. How about that? Cruise news, my thoughts and views coming up next. <laughs> anyway, uh, heard some uh, discouraging news, I'd say. You see my face lights up red every time that car in front of me hits the brakes. I'm in stop and go traffic and figured it out. So that's why I'm not uh, looking at the camera completely. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness. Got all choked up there. Uh, discouraging news. Carnival announced this week that their buy a bottle program uh, where you can actually go to their fun shops and have a bottle of liquor waiting in your room for you is over. Uh, their overwhelming quest to keep, pe uh, keep people from getting too wild and crazy on their ships. <coughs> Mercy. Sorry about that. Uh, getting wild and crazy on their ships. They're doing away with that uh, bottle of liquor. You used to be able to buy you a bottle of uh, whiskey or vodka or rum or something to have in your room for a nightcap. Uh, maybe my case when you're sitting there watching on the balcony the ocean go by at night or sunset you can make yourself a little drink there well they've announced this week due to the fact they're trying to keep people from getting so drunk on their ships i guess they are doing away with that program uh just having come off a carnival cruise ship uh, about a month and a half ago and the group we were with <coughs> excuse me I cannot get I need a drink of water I, I'll have one in a minute when I get the bowl now but anyway the group we we're coming off with not happy at all with their drink package carnival's already adapted their drink package to where it's not favorable you uh we got on the ship the first day uh, probably 2 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock. So the first day your drink package is not activated. Everything you do the first day you're going to have to pay for drinks. And those drinks are at <coughs> wow, expensive prices. Uh, several guys in the group that like to drink beer uh, we're buying buckets of beer. I think the buckets of beer were $50 a bucket for five beers. So that's $10 a beer, isn't it? Maybe there were six beers in there. Anyway, they were not happy with the fact that uh, the drink package that you pay $550 or so for was not available your first day of the cruise, one of your longer days of the cruise. So it led for a lot of extra expense there. Uh, and then again, the uh, other days, they had a 15 drink minimum. Depending on you, I don't believe I ever hit my 15 drink minimum. I'm just not that big a drinker anymore. In my younger days, I probably would have. Uh, my stepson definitely would have hit that 15 limit drink. Several of the guys with us did hit that 15 drink limit and were cut off and it's quite discouraging. That's, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you do about it. I mean, I understand Carnival's spot of, you know, we're trying to keep people from getting drunk and acting a fool or getting in fights or what have you. So I understand that part. Uh, I didn't have a problem with it. Uh, there was a couple days I didn't even drink. We got up early, went to Mr. Sancho's and Cosmel, and 
you know, it's all unlimited drinks there. They're going to feed you, feed you, feed you drinks, and they're going to feed you, feed you food. Uh, I think the day after Mr. Sancho's, we got back on the ship. Uh, one of the guys, you know who you are if you watch this, went, crawled back on the ship, got in the hot tub, and fell asleep. Uh, I went to the ship, crawled to my room, went to bed for a couple hours, uh, proceeded to get up a few hours later and have dinner and say, uh, I'm done, I'm going back to my room. So anyway, didn't drink any drinks that day. Uh, the next day was a full day at sea. I don't know that I had more than a couple drinks that day because from the previous day, I wasn't there. But anyway, just know if you're going to drink more than 15 drinks a day, you're probably not my age because my age is not going to do it anymore. I may have one or two days good drinking in me uh, on a cruise, but I couldn't do it every day anymore. But anyway, just know that if you're accustomed to buying you a bottle, I mean, we usually would get a bottle of stick in our drink to, if you wanted to sit in a room, sit out on your balcony and have a nice sunset uh, view with your loved one there, make yourself a drink that that uh, bottle in the room has gone away. So anyway, here's to uh, Carnival. I believe that's Carnival that I think they're the only ones that have done that. Uh, quite frankly, I don't know that Royal Caribbean has that package. I haven't seen it if they do, but anyway, I liked it on Carnival. Uh, that way you just have a bottle sitting in your room for a nightcap. But anyway, just know that if you're accustomed to buying liquor to have sit in your room before you cruise, that's gone away for now. Carnival's new quest to keep people safe which is good they've had a lot of uh, a lot of hits in the news lately with people acting the fools so that's a good thing that's probably a good thing keep these uh hardcore drinkers uh safe out of the water uh I, I'll, I'll do another story here i should have already done it but the guy that went overboard and uh spent most of the evening and part of the next day and was almost drowning when they found him uh, I, I didn't ever hear I saw a part of an interview with him he didn't I didn't hear that he was drinking I must go back and listen to that interview and see if he was drinking but anyway we're gonna keep this one short I'm on the way to my Thursday night bowling 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 league uh, so just thought I'd get on there at the quick update of what I heard from Carnival that applies to me and hopefully you others out there find it interesting and uh, will know what's gone away. Please like, subscribe. We're going to make sure we do these videos on a regular basis going forward for the new year. We uh, just started this channel not long ago and have had some pretty good response out of it. So hopefully, uh, we keep it going and get our subscriber count and uh, friend count and our likes and everything up. So, uh, yes, I'm turning. Oh, that's a horrible picture. <laughs> anyway, I'm turning around that corner. Uh, so, anyway, uh, that's it. We're going to jump onto the bowling lane and get our bowling, bowling, bowling on. So, remember that, Carnival, if you like their drinks, you got 15 of them. It looks like that's your limit. All right. Bye-bye.